Because I'm with you through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Oh, oh, oh I love you Hey, hi, how are you? All right, I'm running the show. A uh, little, uh, little stressed out trying to figure out some interview stuff in this camera, as you can tell. There we go. All right, a uh, little last minute, but hey, welcome to the Smoke and Joe Show, season two, episode. What are we on? Thirty million, thirty-seven. Where did it go? Mm hmm. -hmm. Okay, well, I may have lost my script. May have. May have lost it. But that's okay. How's everybody doing out there? We are very excited to be here. First and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, my super duper patrons who have been supporting me through this crisis as well as everyone else. Uh, but I do have a Patreon where you get special links and deals and announcements, all that stuff. Smoke and Joe Music. Uh, Smoke and Joe Music. Smoke and Joe Music. Patreon.com slash Smoke and Joe Music. Smoke and Joe Show. Uh, I would like to give a big shout out to. Oh, wait, I didn't even show you the graphic. Uh, I remember all this. There we go. Spaceship. <laughs> Spaceship. Thank you, patrons. And also would like to say thank you to the Galactic Get Down sponsor, Shadow Wick Creations. Uh, they make awesome candles. They have a Galactic Get Down candle collection that goes to support the music festival. And they're just really awesome people. We're really happy to have them as a part of our family. I think it's Etsy.com slash shop slash Shadow Wick Creations. I've said it a lot of times before reading it off the script. I can't believe I just deleted my script. Oh well, it's all good. We have uh, Josh and James of the Moonlight community. They are releasing a brand new video, they just did, and we are going to be playing that a bit later as well. Uh, I was almost able to get them the Skype call to be in the video from the live stream. I have, the technology is there, but it kept crashing, so I am going to talk to them on my phone, and I'm going to show you their faces as such. I might have to switch. Switch uh, my video though. Let me see if I can do that right now. Maybe it'll be a little nicer. Maybe it'll be a little nicer. How's that? How's that looking? And then you can probably see the screen. I bet a little better. Yeah. Okay, much better for that. But we'll use this for the microphone. Anyway, so as some of you may know, we have a segment on this show called The Weekend Get Down, and we encourage people to go get down around town. And uh, we are not encouraging anyone to do that this time because uh, the getting down needs to be staying in place. So we have changed it to the weekend stay in. What's happening while you're at home? Because you can't leave and if you do, you probably shouldn't. Unless you got to work in healthcare, And then I say thank you, weekend stay in. Big shout out to Kind Jams Minnesota. I didn't get the graphic added on there in time. I started building this a couple hours ago. And uh, but Kind Jams Minnesota, check them out on Facebook. Uh, they will let you know about all sorts of awesome shows as they happen. There is this thing live from out there, live from out there, happening pretty much constantly with a lot of big names in the jam and bluegrass and all that crossover festival scene. Let me get really close. I see Billy Strings, Cooking Ribs, Mary Matheson, Pigeons playing ping pong, Twiddle Goose. You know. Jammy, and then and Billy Strings. And that's happening pretty much constantly through April, but there's something going on today. I had it all written down. And then some of the money they make goes to the artists, and some of the money they make goes to the Sweet Relief Fund, Musician Sweet Relief Fund, uh, that was started uh, after Jeff Austin's passing. Tomorrow, <coughs> tomorrow at 11 a.m., the Web Workshops from Minnesota Music Coalition will be hosting a little workshop how-to on how to live stream so you know live streaming is the thing to do and not everyone's been running a live stream show every week Thursdays at 7 like Smoking Joe here I do feel lost without John Marin of Vicarious Visions I love him so much he helped get this going today uh, but man I miss him it's just you know it's just not the same Angela's here though you can't Hi. see her but I can 
Also happening on the web, the Moon Cats Facebook live stream concert tomorrow night at 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. That is happening everywhere because it is on the internet and uh, it's probably free. So that's one benefit of these live streams. And there have been a lot of really awesome groups popping up. I have, of course, we'll talk about mine in just a second, but I wanted to give a shout out to uh, friends and, and uh, colleagues that are really doing a great job helping keep people entertained while we're all quarantined. One of them being uh, my friend Carlin, who's doing a karaoke all the time, Quarantine Karaoke Facebook group. So search for that. Quarantine Karaoke is very fun. You can play the karaoke tracks on yourself when you sing along, you post a video. It's a lot like... You know, it's you know, it's just a lot like interacting in person, but you don't have to touch each other. Oh, go to a bar. I don't mind not being at bars at this point. Oh, I'm looking, sounding great. Awesome. Thank you. I feel good. Uh, you know, I think I'm one of the only people in the world right now, or in the country right now, that's feeling like better about my life right now than I did before. Although I do miss being outside with people and like playing shows and going to see live music. That I miss a lot. Also, my friend Justin, Justin, you might know him as Festival Chef, has a live stream quarantine cooking, so you will live stream while you cook, and you'll tell people about what you're cooking and what ingredients you're using and your tips and tricks, and Justin will go live, and there's giveaways, and it's just a wonderful community. It's like music, but food, you know, the arts. So I think he's, that idea was spawned off of live stream cover challenge, which I will talk about momentarily. Our, uh, nope, live stream music Minnesota was made, made by Nick Coleman, a huge fan of the scene as well as an audio engineer. And that is just all the music from Minnesota is being live streamed, whether it's on the page or shared to the page. If you're into Minnesota music, check out live stream music Minnesota. It's new stuff all the time. People are streaming pretty much constantly right now. I made this group first. Art, art I made because of coronavirus. I made it because I knew that people would be stuck inside and they would have lots of time and energy to create art, but I wanted to create a place where they could share it so they continued to make art. I wanted them to be like, I made this thing, and then not be like, oh, I didn't show anybody and didn't get any positive feedback, so now I'm not going to make anything uh, again. So just trying to be a cheerleader here. Art because art I made because of coronavirus. Dancing, cooking, video, audio, Everything, all kinds of art, any medium you can think of, cleaning, whatever. We love you. We appreciate everyone taking the time and, and spreading some love in this group. And then, last but abs or, yeah, last for the live stream chat, but absolutely not least, live stream cover challenge. That's right. I created a group two weeks ago, two weeks ago in a day. It is now. It's about to surpass, I think, 26,000, almost 27,000 people. I've been getting interviews this week, uh, NPR, The Current, and basically, here's the deal, everyone. Here's the deal with the live stream cover challenge, you see. I'll tell you. I'm going to read you the rules because they're, they're not really rules. They're very loose rules. It's more of, a, more of a guideline than anything else, but there are... Thousands of people live streaming. It can happen all the time at any point in the day. Uh, it's all free musicians who ask for tips. But let me see. I have it all written out nice for you. Ba, 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 ba. With so many people live streaming, I had an idea. Live stream cover challenge. Guidelines. Challenge an artist to play a song. That artist has 24 hours to learn the song. Once learned, the artist goes live in the group to perform the song. Both these things are pretty loose. You can take more than 24 hours or less, and if you absolutely cannot go live, either it scares the bejesus out of you or you're not in good internet, it's fine. Just record it real quick. Day of, just no like fancy videos you made in the before pandemic times. There's just easy rules here. Performers, please include this info in your live stream, your name, the song you're playing, who challenged you, and your follow-up challenge. This helps keep the ball a rolling. But people will just be screaming open challenges all the time. Can I get it done in 24 hours? It's fine. If you don't play an instrument, just sing or do a karaoke thing. It's fine. Want to play but aren't challenged? Just ask to be challenged or just play. It's fine. 
You can't record it live, but stupid internet, it's fine. The rules are loose. This is all about having fun, learning new music, playing for your friends, and helping pass the time during the COVID-19 pandemic. The number one goal here is to make sure we're all smiling and having fun, which everyone has been doing a great job. I am overjoyed at this group. I can't even begin to tell you like this. I don't know what I would be doing. I'd be in a lot. 26,795. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, live stream cover challenges. Take it on my life. I've done 59 covers. Today's John Prine Day. Uh, we, he, was, he was in terrible shape at the beginning of this week, and we're like, oh, no, we need to send all the energy to John Prine. And so we made Thursday a theme of him, and thankfully it wasn't a memorial theme. It was a uh, just, hey, we love John Prine today theme. Uh, well, Woman Inspired Wednesdays yesterday went awesome. And then, of course, Original Music Sundays. People yelled at me. They're like, why is there original music on here? And as an almost completely original artist that happened to make a silly cover group I, I I think it's ironic because I'm an original guy and now I'm learning all these covers who knows life's crazy turned upside down no fancy videos for back test yeah no fancy videos we all have fancy videos but you know the it's in the name live stream that's what you do cover that's the kind of song challenge it's not a contest. It's just a, the challenge is just to get more people competing. Okay, so thinking, uh, looking at this last month, we had our very first battle of the bands as Galactic Get Down online, and it voting has ended, and the winners, the top four winners of this online battle, move on to compete live at a show where fans will vote, judges will judge. And the Get Down crew will pick one band out of the four to perform on the main stage at this year's festival in 2020. Here are the standings. Zontelli's room got uh, you know got that first spot with 35 dive close behind. Illicit Energy coming from the bottom real quick. They came out of nowhere. That was an underdog story if I ever heard it. And this thing, the Get Together and Camp Comfort were neck and neck the last couple weeks. I mean, I was watching this unfold. And I had to re, I, I counted votes for about six hours, folks. It was so close. I counted and I counted again and then I checked and then I waited and I got away from it and I came back and I counted and I counted again. And it was accurate. There was, it was a like 0.01% difference between the fourth place spot and the fifth place spot. And I'll have you know, Camp Comfort, we, we understand that. We know that you are a wonderful band. So don't feel bad that you just missed out on the top four. You know, crazier things have happened. Than, uh, than us being nice. But Parallel Unicorn, Funkin' Spuds, Moonlight Community, who we have on the show today, I'm, they're going to be calling, and we're playing their premiere music video, Jacob, all, all F4, Jacob, Mahone, Salty, Dogs, along with a dozen more competitors. We loved it. 18,000 votes we got. 18,000 votes. I'm so proud of all of us. We're doing it. And what are we doing? What are we doing? The Galactic Get Down 2020. Right now, we are full speed ahead for July 30th, 31st, and August 1st until we hear differently, but I think we're going to be good. We have Dead Larry, Kind Country, members of Dopapod and Pretty Lights playing an elephant wrecking bot, <laughs> Iron Star, Space Monkey Mafia, Mae Simpson, Momentary Laps of Floyd, Feed the Dog, Chachuba, Trucy Rose, String Dingers, Feeding Leroy, Mackie the Bing, Space Monster, Massacre, Am the Fam, Flow State, Earth the Clark, Splimit, Iron Mind, Swashbuckler, Bot Bat, Band, Flowing Perspectives, Renegade, Desperate Electric, Smoking Joe Show Live, and more. We haven't even announced any bands on the launch pad stage. Yet. So, check out the event. This is the stuff we do. This is what we've been doing. Uh, if you're new, if you're new to our scene here in Minnesota, come and check it out. We love space. We love love. We love community. And if, if uh, the community and live stream cover challenges any uh, indication, they're just some of the sweetest, and most supportive people. I love that people are going live in their basements for the very first time in their lives, and there are people across the country in their basements saying, "Hey, you're awesome." Anyway. Our very first music video of the day was my second live stream challenge. Uh, the, it was challenged by Scott Ackerman to do a song from Bad Lip Reading called Seagull Stop It Now. And it is to this date probably my highest viewed challenge. But hey, you know, the challenge is still on. So this is directly from live stream cover challenge about a week and a half ago. Seagulls Stop It Now. Hey everybody, 
I'm about to perform a song from a movie I've seen a couple times. It's a take on something Yoda said. Thank you all so much for being a part of this group and sharing all your live music and, and all that fun stuff. Make sure to, uh, you know, tip your musicians if you can. Enjoy, enjoy all the art. Check out all the groups. Uh, there's some really cool stuff. I'm really excited for uh, for everybody to do all their challenges today. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on the way, but uh, this was my next up. And let me pull up the lyrics here. Make sure I don't forget. <clears throat> My little music can't help. Thank you so much for hanging out. I got a bunch more stuff I got to learn and do today. Support your local artists. Tip them if you can. My information's up there. I love you all so much, and we'll talk soon. Okay, hello. Uh, we are back. That was me playing Seagull Stop It Now from Bad Lip Reading. I have our special guests in my hands right here. In my hands. Josh and James of the Moonlight Community. Say hello. Uh, hello. Hey. So here we all are. This is uh, one of the weirder interviews I've done, but they are live, and they're talking to me. So you just released a music video. Is this your first music video? Uh, no. Uh, so this is...
is our second music video off the album. Um, we did have one before these, but I'll let Josh talk about um, the first one off the album because uh, that's a song he wrote, and uh, it's pretty cool. He came up with the uh, idea for the video as well. So go ahead, Josh. Yeah, so our first music video we ever did was just a single that we wrote called Minnesota Nice. It was two summers ago now, um, done by our friend Josh Weber, and it was just a fun time. We all got together at Matt's cabin. Matt's the big, tall, bearded guy in our mm -hmm. band. Um, we just recorded that. More of a fun project, but you can check that out. It's a, it's a neat little song. Are you not tall? Because you are a bearded man as well. I'm not tall, no. I can't I'm tell. Short bearded man. But together we're like twins that just are like a foot apart. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but anyhow, Sorry, um, go on, yeah. the next music video we did, though, was the first one for this new album we have coming out called Anim. And the song's called We Forgot. It was done by Austin Swain who also did Save Yourself, which James will talk about next. Um, and We Forgot, you can look in that, or that's on YouTube right now too. You can check it out. I think we released it in October. Is yeah, that when we released there. it? Yeah, October, November. Yeah. yeah. And it's just a cool song. It's about like uh, before we were born or right when we were born, we knew all these things. We knew all the truths and we could see everything um, that we were gifted before this earth. But then... The verse explains how we're kind of hypnotized and we're told to go one way and we forget about all those things that we had known before. And it's fun and we have uh, animation. Austin put animation into that video and it helps explain the story. It's a mm. rock out video so we're all dressed up cool rocking out outside. And uh, yeah, that was our first video. For nice. I'm going to have to check it out. Album. And it, we did Save Yourself, James will talk about. But we have lots of plans in the future with Austin to do more videos for this album. Nice. And how long have you yeah. been a band? How long has Moonlight Community been Moonlight Community? Yeah, that's, a, that's, an, that's an interesting one. And uh, Or a range so of time. Yeah, so technically we've we've gotten back together in 2017. So, um, But all together, the Moonlight experience, I guess, has been probably about five years total. Okay. You know? Nice. Um, yeah. Cool. And then are you both founding members? Did one of you add later? Have you been around the whole time? Yeah. Well, technically, uh, <laughs> me and Matt, the tall bearded guy, yeah. and band, <laughs> we started the idea of this band when we were camping uh, in Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Um, and we were both about to go back to school. We had quit school for a real long time. We were about to go back to school, and we're like, hey, you know what? Let's try to make a band. Ta so I went I went to uh, get my music teaching degree, which I later finished. Um, and in the department, I met a lot of musicians, James being one, and Dante, and AJ. So technically, me and Matt started it. We wrote about five, six songs and then by that time, I had met James, and he was very interested in joining. We brought him over to the house one night and just played him the songs we had. It was just two guitars, me and Matt singing. He loved it right away. He showed us his songs, and before you knew it, we had like uh, like 15 songs in like the first three weeks just because we added each other's songs together, and it was That's it was awesome. awesome. That's Dante, a great way to do it. When he joined, he has perfect pitch, and he's just like, oh, that's cool. You played that song for me once. Now I can play keyboard to it. Oh, don't you love forever. that? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I play with some players like that. It really saves a lot of time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Well, uh, let's see. So you got this new video we're gonna watch, and you've been working really hard. You did really well in the battle, and I know that uh, Romy from Romer Dome has a big soft spot in his heart for you guys as well, for your yeah. band. So, cause he just talks you up all the time. Man. Oh yeah. I mean, he's. Yes. Very hardworking, very you know, just very humble, very you know, just keeps his head down and gets it done. I appreciate the way the way he works and, and the things he supports have always have always been good. I mean, you know, before Mae Simpson was known as, you know, this big thing, I you know, Romy's like, I think this is gonna be good and I, I asked him who I should book and I hadn't heard of her but but we booked her and look at us now. <laughs> yeah. I got their shirt on right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't really see that, rocking that shirt. Rocking I'm it. Loving the new EP, by the way. New EP is great. Amazing. So, yeah. So I guess we're all just kind of waiting out this whole thing before we play any more shows. But do you have any like live stream plans? Do you think you're gonna like do some band stuff once maybe we get the bars aren't open, but maybe we're allowed to 
gather? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, for us, I mean, you know, we're really trying to obviously respect um, the stay at home and, and make sure that we're doing our part, uh, you know, and um, being smart about the world and, and what's going on right now. But um, we've had many talks. Uh, you know, at first, I think it was a little paralyzing, right? It's like kind of, oh, man, now, now what do we do? And there's so much to do. And how do we do this and that? And so it started turning into this thing where, like, let's ask our community. How do they want to be engaged? What do they think? Exactly, so, yeah. Um, we've been having these conversations. And uh, I think Josh and I are going to kick up some cool things from our individual homes uh, coming up here in the near future. Some uh, music with Dandy and uh, some uh, live stuff from, uh, from me as well. So we'll be sharing some of the songs that we wrote for Moonlight. Um, and some of the songs that Moonlight hasn't played, just kind of our original ones. And nice. some of those are like in the queue to become a Moonlight song. So we've got some uh, cool things brewing, but we'll stay busy for sure. Nice. Uh, let's see. Would you like a challenge in live stream cover challenge? Because I know a guy. If you want to come oh. in. I don't know if you want to come in in this madness. Uh, Always. But, uh, but yeah. yeah. I, I try and with like the, my friends and then like members of the Minnesota and Minneapolis music scene, I try and lob softballs so that we all look awesome. Being like, well, I know you like this band. You know this song. I don't know if you know how to play it, but it's like right in your wheelhouse. I've gotten some really crazy challenges. I've seen some of them, and, and they do push you and stuff. And I'll say for me, uh, you know, you want to throw some uh, Alice in Chains or some Pearl Jam or okay. uh, some Shine Down in there. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool nice. with basically anything, but I like the rock. And Josh is a huge, uh, I'm going to call him out right now, but he's a huge Radiohead fan. Oh, we're best friends. Nice. Yeah, he's, he got me into it. We're actually missing the Tom York show. I know, we are too. Gosh. My wife and I just oh, had a man. moment earlier. We were like, Oh, that would be Sunday. And no, we don't get to see Tom. We saw him last year, and we saw Radiohead in Chicago. And uh, now I don't get any Tom York in my life at all this year, and it's really sad because he doesn't come out here that much, and he just started coming right. back after 20 years. You know, right. Angela, you want to come out here and talk? Bro, Sunday. We like to bicker on TV. My birthday, my 30th birthday. 30th birthday. It's gonna be just this beautiful thing seeing Tom York. Yeah, and I would have been there, man, and we would have had a, <laughs> would have had a moment, because you would have been on the show anyway, and we would have talked about this. Ah, oh, man, that's okay. We were still on the show. Everything's still good. Heck yeah, it's all good. And they'll reschedule it. So oh we yeah. Have, now now we know, and we can all link up. But with my luck, they're gonna reschedule it on a day where I have a really important show, or the weekend of our music <laughs> festival, and then we won't be able to go at all. That's just how things happen around here. <laughs> Well, I think it's probably time we play these folks your music. Uh, is there anything else you want to say about your band or anything else you want to promote or shout outs or jokes or stories or anything? The floor is open. Yeah, Josh, if you got anything, go ahead and add, and then I'll just do a little call out about the video before we show it. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, basically, uh, be looking for our album that these songs that we've made videos for are on. Uh, the album yes. is called Anin. That means hello or I am. It's a call that says I am in uh, Ojibwe language. Um, and that is uh, I teach on the Indian Reservation, Fond du Lac Reservation at the Ojibwe School. I'm the music teacher there. Um, and I had the uh, Ojibwe language teacher do a whole explanation on the word Anin on our Facebook page if you want to check that out yeah. Um, but yeah that album is just awesome and I'm not really ashamed to toot our own horns on that we mm -hmm. wanted it to be awesome but we worked very hard we had a great producer in Dave Hill um, from Crane Song production in Superior he's just the best and uh, we had a vision for the album and he was able to execute it for us uh, it's a great album, top to bottom. That's how I would prefer everyone listen. But <laughs> you yep. can listen. You can listen how you want. But it is a journey. It has just all the genres you can think of. Um, it's one thing we wanted to execute several genres, but make it fluid. And I think it's awesome. I really love the album, oh, yeah. and I know everyone in our band feels the same way. That's it's cool, just man. good. But yeah, James can talk specifically about Save Yourself, our second single, and the video that you're about to, you're about to see. Awesome, yeah, so great, uh, 
great discussion on the album there, Josh. That's it's <laughs> perfect. I'm I'm so excited to to have everyone grab it and just shout Anin, you know, from the rooftops. Really, I'm excited announce now. yourself as a moon as a moonlighter. Um, so save yourself. I'll just be quick and and give a little setting to it. You know, save yourself is a. I made a little live video earlier today around two thirty before the launch of the video at three, and um, it really just kind of explains you know, what, really what it's about. But in a nutshell, you know, especially during these hard times, like we want everyone to know that they're not alone. If you're suffering from depression, anxiety, um, battling an addiction, I mean, missing out on support systems, all of those things right now, when you're in isolation, you could be in a really bad relationship and you're just stuck at home with this person. I mean, this is a call to action for everyone and anyone in those situations, right? Even the people that are not to, to reach out to those that may be, but save yourself was written in a dark moment of my life, uh, drunk in a basement, um, in the dark, written on piano. And, um, you know, sulking and, and really just battling my own demons um, in in a house I no longer live in. And it was a really transitional period in my life. And uh, this song kind of helped to pull me out of the dark in a really cool way. And uh, I brought this to the band. Josh helped me write the, the bridge to it. And then uh, the rest of the band just really kind of brought this to life. But that's this is the story. And, and you'll see that. And I hope at the end that you catch the feel of this uh, kind of transformative moment when you realize that you can, right? You can save yourself and, and it's not selfish to, to care for yourself um, because you need to help yourself before you can save someone else. Um, so here's the video. Thank yeah, thanks guys. I'll talk to you in just one sec. Don't go anywhere. And thank you. Thank you. Here we go. I am lost in this world I can't seem to find my way Every right turn curves left into the wrong And now I guess I'll just move along Save yourself from the certain Ahead of you, save yourself from the burning fire that will bring you down. Save yourself, ashes to dust. Save yourself for
shares to die Save yourself Oh, I Well, all right, that was really cool. That was a sweet video. And I know a thing or two about sweet videos. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in, not only to this, but to all of the live streams, you know, the chats. I've made more video calls the past two weeks than I have in my whole life. I'm just really feeling the love and people really just wanna connect. And I appreciate everyone being there uh, for us and for your communities, for your friends, you know, maybe just to go in a little extra to make sure everybody's all right. Well, normally we would have a live performance, but I have another John Prine song to finish learning and perform tonight in live stream cover challenge. So if you want to see me play live, tune in there and check out all of our amazing musicians from amateurs, children, little, little kids, all the way to professionals. I heard the banjo player from Trampled was in there. I didn't know, but that's exciting. Uh, there's so much that I can't even keep up with it. People think I have all this control and I don't. It's really the community is taking care of everything. Uh, there are a lot of you that are now interested in Galactic Get Down, and you'll hear lots more about that. And everyone who voted for, for anyone in the battle will be receiving a lovely little email from yours truly, letting you know what's going on in our world during this pandemic. Well, stay inside. Weekend stay in. Live stream. Play some games. Call me up. Send me a video chat. Anyway. I love you all so much, and it was great to be here on the Smokin' Joe Show. Tune in next Thursday at 7 p.m. We will have a guest, and probably I'll amp up some technology too. But until then, I'll just play us out. But I gotta find the file. Hold on, everybody. I know it's dark. Let me find the file. Da -na 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 all right, here we go. Because whatever trouble you are in, I don't care whatever you do. Just know that I love you. Oh, oh, oh I love you. You know, sometimes you got troubles, so many troubles, they're getting you down. But you don't have to worry about your troubles no more, cause well, I'll always be around, because I'm with you. And thin. Whatever trouble you are in, I don't care whatever you do. Just know that I love you. Whoa. I love you.